Today I'm going to share with you a story and hopefully by listening to this story you'll get a glimpse of a certain mindset that the majority of the most successful people out there have. For a long, long period of time, the professional British cycling team, also known as Team Sky, was regarded as one of the worst teams in the world. Prior to 2012, in its entire 76 year history of competing in the Olympics, they were only able to win a single gold medal. It was so bad that one of the most popular bike manufacturing companies refused to let them ride their bikes for races because they were scared that people would associate Team Sky with their bikes. So in 2002, the Brits decided to hire a guy named Sir Dave Brailsford to manage the team. Brailsford had an interesting background. He was a former professional cycler who holds an MBA. He decided to incorporate a business concept called the theory of marginal gains to the team. The theory of marginal gains is very simple. It's the idea that if you simply improve every aspect of the business, every little cog and wheel, by the slightest percentage, if you could speed up manufacturing of products by just 1%, if you could improve the quality of products by just 1%, if you could cut costs by just 1%, there would be a tremendous amount of improvement, a whole lot more than just 3%. But just how effective was this concept in the world of cycling? Well, Team Sky started improving on a variety of things. They found tires that were a tiny bit lighter. They found bike seats that were slightly more comfortable. They learned how to clean hard to reach places on their bikes and reduce the amount of dust in the parts. They hired a surgeon to teach their team how to wash hands properly. And they even decided not to shake any hands prior to the Olympics to reduce the chances of getting sick. They bought mattresses and pillows that were slightly better to sleep on. They optimized the nutrition for the riders so it was slightly better for racing. They even split tested massage oils and found out which one was most effective for recovery time. These changes on their own were by no means a lot. The tires were only a percent or two lighter. The pillows were only a percent or two more comfortable, but they made hundreds of little changes just like this to random things that no other team was even paying attention to. So did any of this even work? Well, in the 2008 Beijing Olympics, Team Sky won seven out of the 10 gold medals available for track cycling. They repeated this achievement and won seven more gold medals in the following London Olympics. They They've won 4 out of the last 5 Tour de France, which is something a British person has never won before. It was a phenomenal success. What does this story have to do with how incredibly successful people think? Well, the most successful people on this planet believe in the theory of marginal gains. I would say the most common habit you'll notice about successful people is the fact that they are avid learners. They are always seeking more information. Many of them read, many of them attend seminars, and if you think about what this accomplishes, you'll realize by learning every single day, you are technically improving your knowledge by a small, small percent. This small improvement in knowledge sparks many other small changes that they can make to improve their lives. They figure out little things they can do to improve their business, their mental health, their fitness, their craft. And all of these 1%, they add up. So for those of you that want to become successful, this is something that you must internalize. This is one of the goals I have for this channel because almost all of my videos have information that you can use to improve your life ever so slightly. And if you keep improving just a little bit every single day, you can pass most people around you because most people are either not improving or they're actually doing the opposite. They're deteriorating. So remember guys to take that improvement pill every single day.